Hi, I'm Mike Mahan from SMA's Solar Academy. In the tech tip today, we're going to be installing the Sunny Boy 5.0, 6.0 US inverter. The Sunny Boy 5.0, 6.0 US is SMA's next generation transformerless inverter, boasting best in class technology in a simplified design, saving time and money. After marking and drilling pilot holes for the upper and lower mounting holes, secure the bracket with hardware appropriate for the mounting surface. Now we're ready to lift the Sunny Boy and place it on the bracket. If you look at the back of the inverter, there are mounting lugs for the upper power unit and the lower connection unit that need to hook into the bracket for proper mounting. Lastly, we need to secure the inverter to the mounting bracket using the supplied screw that mounts on the left side below the integrated DC disconnect. With the inverter securely mounted, we're ready to wire the inverter. To access the wiring compartment, we need to remove the six torque screws on the lower black lid. When removing the lid, keep in mind that the torque screws are self-retaining, and the ribbon cable will ship from the factory secured like this, but once the inverter is installed, this end of the ribbon cable will be attached to the inverter, so remember to remove that if you need to service the inverter later. For ease of viewing, we're not going to use conduit for this installation, but for any real-world installation, you use conduit appropriate for local jurisdictions. We're going to start with the AC wiring, so I'm going to connect the AC terminal plug to the inverter and secure it down. Begin by stripping about 3 quarters inch of insulation off each wire. Land the ground wire on one of the many provided ground terminals and tighten down. Installing the line 1, line 2, and neutral conductors is as simple as pressing into the compression terminals. In cases of smaller conductors or stranded wire, a small standard screwdriver can be inserted above the compression terminal to open the terminal, then insert the conductor, remove the screwdriver to secure the conductor. Connecting the DC conductors is nearly identical to the AC side. Step one is to connect the DC terminal plug to the inverter and tighten it down. You'll notice the DC terminal plug has places for three independent tracking channels labeled A, B, and C. Strip back the DC wires about three quarters of an inch, then connect the positive and negative from each string to the proper terminals, just like the AC side. Then connect the equipment ground, strip back about half an inch, and tighten. If the installation is not using the integrated Wi-Fi for plant communications, the ethernet cables can be installed in either of the two ports here or here. That's it for the wiring. When you're ready to replace the lower black lid, remember to reattach the cable from the display board to the inverter and then secure the six torque screws. That's it for installing the Sunny Boy 5.0, 6.0 US. For more information, please visit our website at sma-america.com. I'm Mike Mahan from SMA Solar Academy. Thanks for joining us.